I've been getting uh, more and more people coming in with just wrist pain, right? So when you, when you have someone who comes in with just wrist pain, you can make a determination and say, okay, you see what's going on. And you can almost break it down. You can break it down from area, right? And the other way you can break it down, which we've talked about, which is, is it a bone problem? Is it a tendon muscle problem? Or is it a ligament issue? Like stability issue, right? You can still do that. It just, it sounds very slow because I'm talking about it, but when you do it, you're going to take into account someone's history and that thought process is gonna be fast. So I have a girl who comes in, she's an artist, and she has wrist pain. Right here, she says. My wrist hurts every single time I go like this. And um, she didn't fall. She, um, nothing dropped and hit her hand. So, you know, when did it hurt you? How did it happen? And so if somebody came and was like, oh my God, I fell and I put my arm out like that. Okay, so now you have to think, oh, it's not just a tendonitis, potentially a ligament problem, potentially a bone problem, right? And you can rule that out. Well, can, can it really be a bone problem if she waited six months to see you? <laughs> the bone is not broken, right? Okay, let's, the tendons, muscles intact, but because she fell on it, caused some imbalances. So yeah, there could be a tendon muscle issue. Could it potentially be a ligament issue? potentially, right? So then I could go into ligament testing, right? But I can take a look at that and say, oh, well, it's here. So let me know, let me think about what else is in that area. So if I could start here and say, okay, I'm gonna look below and then I'm gonna look above. So here I'm gonna test, are your fingers feeling good? Are your intrinsic, remember your intrinsic muscles um, are attached right at, at the brink of your wrist, right? So when your intrinsic muscles are real tight, it can cause some wrist pain. So I check intrinsics and I say, oh, how do your intrinsics feel? How does your wrist range of motion feel? Um, just looking at range of motion, um, which also can tell me the muscle tightness. And then I'm gonna take that muscle tightness and I'm gonna take it, this is um, insertion, I'm gonna go back to origin. The only way your wrist moves is because it's attached here and it ends here. So that's how I'm probably solving it through. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna see, um, do you have any pain? Do you have any tightnesses there? Is there an imbalance between the flexors and the extensors? Um, and most of the time it is. There, there are some imbalances, but I can essentially go and rule in and rule out problems just based on anatomy. Um, and I can know that the cause was she fell and so I might have to consider other things a little bit more, right? But if she fell, then the precautions would be, well, if I suspect a ligament issue, then my, my, my precautions are gonna be greater. Like, okay, I'm not gonna do a shit ton of weight bearing. I'm not gonna do a ton of heavy weights until I, I know a little bit more confidently that she can move in a pain-free range because I know some things about ligaments, right? And then that's how it's gonna lead you from the precautions into what I can do. Right, so I can I can do some gentle strengthening. I can do some range of motion if there's any lack of it, um, that kind of stuff. So let's say the girl that came in, trash. This is trash, right? Just like every time I work too much on my jewelry, she's like I work too much on my jewelry, and I she creates all these beautiful reefs and she works metal work and stuff like that. My left wrist just starts to hurt. Well, but it's been going on for years. Well, I don't think it's a bone problem. Nothing happened to it. Um, I don't think it's a ligament issue because she didn't fall, nothing fell on her, nothing. So there's definitely a tendon muscle imbalance and it's all right here, right? It's all right here. So I can rule out, I can rule out mm -hmm. there's nothing bones mm -hmm. um, and I'm looking at her, um, I'm essentially looking at her muscles, right? I'm looking at at her muscles right here. I'm looking at all the wrist extensors and then I'm seeing, okay, do you have any pain there? Then I'm gonna look
look at her flexors and I see is there any imbalance I'm gonna look at her hand intrinsics are, are there any deficits um, and then from at the elbow level she, she says she doesn't have pain or she doesn't complain about it much uh, but we know that if um, if they're painful here in the wrist even though they don't have painful um, elbows, I always take a look at the shoulder. I'm like, let me take a look at your shoulder. Oh yeah, my shoulder's always tight. Okay, I'm like, always have. Okay, so now I know that it, some things are connected, right? But the cause, I don't have any precautions. She's a tendonitis. There's an imbalance somewhere and I have to find it. What can I do? I can do anything I want as long as it doesn't cause her a lot more pain. Well, guess what? I worked with her for a couple of times. I ruled out all of this. Nothing molar, nothing radio, nothing ulnar. Like, no, no, my, my problem is right here. Well, after two sessions, um, which had gotten, you know, her, her motion or her pain level had gotten better, um, but I tested her like this. So we ended up, cause we, were, we worked on some shoulder and some other stuff and we worked out some of the issues that she had. I had her go like this with her elbow straight and I had her go into extension. So one was extended this way and one was this way. And she said, but the pain has gotten worse. I mean, the pain has gotten better, so I'm less painful, but I just don't know why I'm really stuck, right? And she's a little skinny thing, so her wrists are like, eh. So what I did was I put them together and she goes, I just feel like I'm stuck. So you got to like have like fine tune your ear to listen to some key words. And she's like, sometimes I just feel like there's like a ball in there. Ding. <laughs> and I put her wrist together and I was like, so I saw, ended up seeing like a mild, mild difference. And it looks like it potentially could be a ganglion cyst, right? She's had it for years. It kind of, it's one of those things that kind of come up due to repeti uh, repetitive types of motions and stuff like that. Um, the poor thing almost passed out when I told her. <laughs> she got, she got like anxious. And I, you know, like we forget what it's like, this is nothing to us, you know? Oh, gangly says, Pshaw, we don't, you don't need to do anything. Like, I got you, we're gonna work everything else. That's gonna be like the worst case scenario. If it doesn't get better, you can have surgery. <laughs> You know, yeah. Oh, girl, I had to like get a cold pack. I had to peel some little cutie oranges that made her eat it. Cause uh, you know, I didn't have any soda or juice, but, but yeah. So you can essentially rule in and rule out, right? You can essentially rule in and rule out. So again, no cysts, no bones. Decor